The Democratic National Convention starts Monday as thousands of delegates from around the country are set to travel to Chicago. Among those will be a healthy contingent from Virginia. That's right. Like the RNC, the event will feature guest speakers, which will include the Obamas and the Clintons. President Joe Biden also set to speak on Monday. Now, there's been a heightened interest in this year's DNC after President Biden stepped out of the race. WFXR's Sam Graham spoke with several local delegates to get how they feel about this event and how it will look. Sam. That's right, Drew. 119 delegates from the Commonwealth will be among the thousands of Democrats in attendance at the four-day event. Now, according to the Democratic Party of Virginia, all 119 of those delegates have already voted to nominate the Harris Walls ticket. I think we're all, uh, certainly amongst the delegates, very unified. I think Democrats across the, straight, uh, the state are getting unified. They're, she's got 10,000 new recruits just in Virginia. Thronberg is making his first appearance at the DNC, and he's confident with Harris's position as the party's nominee. So is Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee Sr., who was also making his first trip to the convention and who met Kamala Harris in May. She's the right person at the right time. And so we're excited about that, and, and I have all the confidence in the world that she will show our will. But questions remain about how she will introduce herself to the nation and position herself in relation to her predecessor. How does she put together the various positions and performance and policies of the Biden administration into a continuous package that becomes more clearly a Harris administration. Donald Trump is known and very few people are changing their minds on him. She's not as well known. And so there's a lot of there's downside if she doesn't do well, but there's huge upside if she comes out and really defines herself well. While Harris will be the star of the show, President Biden will also be in attendance and could receive the loudest cheers of the week. In, in the minds of Democrats, he's actually been an unbelievably productive president. And now he has made the the selfless decision to try to help the party move forward. The other key figure will be Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, who was recently announced as Harris's running mate. We've got to know him. The country has gotten to know him. And I think that has really enhanced this ticket. Harris will officially accept the nomination next Thursday, which will be the final day of the event. Now, the Harris Walls ticket will then turn its focus back onto the campaign trail with eyes on the general election matchup against the Republican ticket featuring Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. Live in studio, I'm Sam Grant.